Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 4.53 in the evening on Thursday, June 24th, 2021. 4.53 p.m. Thursday, June 24th, 2021. And we have the we have been talking about this for a few days over in uh, San Francisco Bay. Our last video was uh, we were concerned about that area. Everything is coming together, uh, and the risk we had before was about a 6.0. It's a much stronger uh, risk level now um, than it was on the, during the last video, which was a few days ago. The risk continues to build in San Francisco Bay. Uh, we're looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay um, during the next, uh, well, the 25th or the 28th, and I'll show you why here. Here's the uh, uh, risk graph, and this peaks on the 25th, and then again on the 28th. I think, um, looking at a couple of the other forecast models, I think I still think it's gonna happen sooner than later. Um, we could get another uh, significant event on the 28th uh, or the 29th, but I think during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, you'll see a strong earthquake in the uh, San Francisco Bay. <clears throat> this peak back here produced a 5.9 earthquake off the northwest coast of California on the 4th of June. 5.9 northwest of San Francisco Bay. And um, this, I believe this one here produced a 3.3 or something over in uh, just southeast of San Francisco. Um, this is coming up now much stronger risk level than the 5.9 uh, and closer to the San Francisco Bay now Look at the uh, latest earthquakes here. We had a uh, 2.1 that just hit the northeast San Francisco Bay. We're looking uh, most likely for this quake to hit in the northern part of the San Francisco Bay. Um, it, it could hit in the sa southern San Francisco Bay, but uh, most of the evidence is going to hit between Eureka and San Francisco, and most likely uh, in this area uh, from Santa Rosa to San Francisco. So somewhere from uh, in the Napa, most likely in the Napa area from Napa West. We'll zoom in here, see what other cities. So Napa, Sonoma, Petaluma, Ronard Park, Novato, Vallejo, San Rafael, where this one hit here, this 2.1, uh, Vallejo, Hercules, Hercules and uh, Martinez, Concord. This area from San Francisco Bay to Santa Rosa is the most likely spot for this large earthquake to occur in California. We just got a uh, 2.8 earthquake northeast of Los Angeles, and we had a 3.2 quake in the Los Angeles area uh, last night, yesterday evening. and. Um, so there should be other quakes that will hit around uh, of California. I mean, this quake, this large quake could hit anywhere in California. However, uh, most of the data and most of the uh, forecast models are saying the uh, northern San Francisco Bay. Again, uh, in this area where this uh, 2.1 that just hit from San Francisco to Santa Rosa. Of course, it could hit anywhere in California, but that is the most likely spot between San Francisco and Santa Rosa. Let's look at the uh, uh, San Francisco graph again. Again, this produced a 5.9, and this peak produced a 6.5. This peak should produce a 6.5. Hasn't happened yet. And we have a peak on the 25th and the 28th. So 6.5 earthquake is likely in the uh, San Francisco Bay, most likely the northern San Francisco Bay on the 25th. It could happen earlier, 25th or the 28th. And uh, as you can see in this risk graph or this uh, risk map here, 
the highest risk is uh, centered right around uh, San Francisco itself. San Francisco and Northern San Francisco Bay down to uh, Santa Cruz. Right in the San Francisco Bay, this is a forecast map for the 25th to 27th. So this is an average of a couple of days of data that shows the risk is centered right in San Francisco Bay. So if you have friends or family living in uh, San Francisco Bay, we're looking for a strong earthquake in that area on uh, the 25th or the 28th. And you can see this, this uh, peak here produced a 5.9. And this is a much stronger peak coming up on the 25th to the uh, 28th of June. Let's take a look at uh, the Tokyo forecast. We're going to be expanding this uh, to other areas. Let's look at the Anchorage first here. Um, the end of the, uh, the 30th and the 31st, there was a 6.0 earthquake in uh, north of Anchorage. We have a very strong peak coming up here on the 28th into the 29th in the Anchorage area. So watch for that. A strong earthquake is possible in the, the Anchorage area on June 28th or 29th. And the other area we're forecasting for is the uh, Japan, Sendai, and Tokyo. We have a strong peak here on the uh, 24th. Uh, and the risk right now is centered near uh, Sendai. Sendai, Japan. Uh, Tokyo, of course, is high risk as well, but the highest risk is up near Sendai and Iwate Prefecture and Fukushima, from Fukushima to Sendai to Iwate in Japan. So looking for a significant earthquake in that spot. Um, and we're working on a, uh, a model that will combine three or four different models to get a better idea of what's going on in uh, Tokyo and also our San Francisco and Los Angeles forecast. And uh, we also have a forecast for uh, let me get back here. We have a forecast for Eureka, these uh, graphs, and we're putting those out shortly. The new data is coming in now. Um, so we have a forecast for Eureka, San Francisco, Coalinga, which is near Parkfield here. And we have a forecast for Los Angeles and one for El Centro, which is down near this, this uh, Salton Sea. Out of all those different forecasts, um, of those five in California, the highest risk is in the area between Eureka and San Francisco. The second highest risk is right in the San Francisco Bay. And the third is in Coalinga, which is near Parkfield here. And the fourth is Los Angeles, and the fifth is El Centro and Salton Sea. For this peak in risk coming up, uh, on the 25th to the 28th. The highest risk, again, is uh, between Eureka and San Francisco Bay, and most likely to hit uh, near the northern part of the San Francisco Bay. All right, you can see that in this map here. You can see this on that graph here. We'll be posting some of the other graphs here tonight, hopefully getting those out. But once again, a very strong earthquake is likely in uh, California, most likely between Eureka and San Francisco Bay. Please uh, let your friends and family know about that. Uh, of course, earthquake prediction is very difficult. And we've been working on this for 16 years. We have 165,000 followers. Thank you to every one of you uh, for uh, following us for the, uh, during the past years, 16 years now of research. And looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, uh, another peak coming up on uh, June 28th as well. So June 25th is the most likely time and June 28th, another peak in risk then. All right, we'll talk to you uh, after the earthquake. Please stay safe, especially up in uh, the San Francisco Bay. Uh, risk is very high in California as well. And this quake could happen anywhere in California, most likely in the northern San Francisco Bay. Thank you so much.